Growing up, I was the only person that I knew of that was competing that had a disability. I didn't even know really that the Paralympics even existed. My condition is brachial plexus and it was acquired from birth. I was 11 pound two, which is quite a large baby to be delivered naturally. And as a result, I ended up getting stuck and the doctors had to pull me out by my right arm and that tore the nerves in between my neck and my shoulder. Within table tennis, I guess, if you could think of it in a way as me having to play against someone and they have to hold their arm behind their back, for an example. Over the years, I've had to figure out ways to improve on what I'm lacking to be able to compensate for my arm not giving me the stability. What convinced me to finally give Paralympic Sport a go was the Paralympic Committee coming to me and asking me if I would like to take the opportunity just to compete. It was going to be a tournament over in Jordan. I absolutely loved the experience. It opened my eyes up. I wanted to be a part of that community and I wanted to represent my country as well. So that was probably the moment I got hooked for Paralympic sport. For me, the Paralympics is the pinnacle of, of, of everything and for me, it's more the community that I love the most. Representing Australia at the Paralympics in London was one of the most amazing feelings I've ever had. I lost my semi so I got to play off for the bronze medal and in that match I happened to be up two sets to love against China and I ended up losing 3-2. After the last point was played I had this massive like, hole in my chest that I just didn't think could ever be fixed because I was so close but in the end I was so far away still and I was like oh, I did all this hard work, am I capable of doing it? At the end of the day, I think I almost have to send uh, Lee Fan, who was the Chinese girl I played, a letter to thank her very much because she ended up giving me the motivation to work harder. So I thank her for the results I've had since London. In the able-bodied, I'm aiming to try and qualify for the Olympic Games. If I'm able to achieve that, I'll know that I'm playing very well. If I get to head to Rio for the Olympics, I'll also get a, like an earlier look at the stadium and the hall and where I'll be competing in the village, which I see as a huge advantage come the Paralympics. My goals in the Paralympic side of table tennis though, I'm aiming for a gold medal in Rio. I would absolutely love that. The biggest thing is just no matter who you are or if you have a disability or not, if you are able to believe you're able to do something, then you can do it. To step up on the world stage with confidence, it takes belief. Belief in the process, belief in my country, and belief in my ability. But to step up at the Paralympics, we need you to believe in us too. Donate now and help Australia's Paralympic athletes show that disability is no barrier to achieving goals. Believe in us, and together we are invincible.